Hello Dissenters, my name is Italix and I am here today with another Minecraft Mod Spotlight video to show you. Today is going to be a little bit weird because I've kind of already told you about this mod before, but wait, there's more. Actually, that's why I'm going back to the Siege Engines mod because there's a lot more to the mod that I did not get the chance to show you due to time constraints and, of course, updates in the previous video. If you missed that video, you want to see kind of like what the real meat of this mod is, I recommend you check that out from the annotation above or the, in the description of this video. I've linked it for your convenience. But I'm going to go ahead and take a look at what else is in the, what is now called the Ancient Warfare mod. It's no longer the Siege Engines mod. It's been renamed. But this is the mod, same mod by ShadowMage4513. So I've got a lot of stuff to show you. I've got a new way to craft Siege Engines, or at least will be in the future, but I'll touch on that in a second. Hand Rocket Launcher, Hand Cannon, some gates, instantly building fortresses, and some more. So let's go ahead and get started. This is one of the things that I neglected in the previous video. It's a bridge extender. See this lovely moat? What if you, what if this was your castle, sir? You could have this castle, you could be securing it with a touch of a button. You could extend the bridge and cross it. Now you're saying, well that's not very secure, is it? Someone could just push that button and come across. I believe there is a way. If you're good with redstone, uh, of course this is connected with redstone. If you're good with it, then you can set it up so that it locks itself. So that the button outside won't work, if that makes sense. So there is that option. Obviously, there are circumstances under which, you know, rules will be broken in SMP. This is SMP compatible, by the way. I just want to make that abundantly clear. You can also activate these bridge blocks, which you're seeing down below, by right-clicking. And, of course, they activate with redstone, as I've already shown you. Now, we've also got another block over here. This is the Siege Engineer's workstation, and it's a little bit buggy for me at the moment, or else I'm doing something wrong, which, you know, would not be unnatural. Uh, what you're going to do, this is the new crafting window to build siege engines, and you can see how many extra squares you have, but it's not just about squares. These will not move when I close it. They will stay there, and there's extra storage down here as well that is separate from your normal inventory, and I believe these are upgrade slots. This is where you're going to click once you've finished building. In this case, it was a ballista. This is where I would click it, but I think this is the right recipe, but it's not working for me, so I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, if there's a little bit of a bug at the moment, uh, but you can still get the siege engines from spawning in the items in creative if you so choose. Uh, however, hopefully I'm doing something wrong, or it Otherwise, hopefully the mod gets fixed very soon. Now, something else I mentioned, gates. I've already installed one here, and I'll show you how to install one on this window here in a second. But they are also activatable with redstone. So if I right-click this, close the gate, secure the borders. <laughs> that is so awesome. I love that so much. Now, you can actually destroy these gates. They do have hit points. So by using siege engines, or I believe even just attacking them, should do damage to them, if I'm not mistaken. So hitting that will turn it red and see it fade back to normal. And it will have more hit points the bigger the gate actually is. Now you can also activate it by right-clicking the gate, if I'm not mistaken. We might have to... Actually, this might be locked down because I've, I'm using a lever. So maybe turning this off and hitting it back up will turn it back on, or open it back up, I should say. So you can see how that should work. And I believe, maybe if I turn this off, I can then right-click this to, to make it close. I don't know, it's a little bit finicky when you have something attached to it. I haven't gotten that, but this will work every time, guaranteed. You, you are supposed to be able to right-click this, I believe, but again, the lever might be uh, kind of messing that up. But you can see how it works. Very easy, as long as you're using a lever. So, I'm going to show you how to install one now. We've got a separate type of gate. This is the iron vertical gate. So, what you're going to do this is, let's say I've got this area. I want to click on one corner. Then I want to go to the opposite corner and right-click there as well. Once I do that, we will see the new gate. So, now look how legit this looks. That is a castle, if I have ever seen one. Close the drawbridge. We've got the gate closed. Very, very cool. Now let's see if I can open this one by right-clicking. Yes, okay, so right-clicking, that one has worked. And you can kind of see how uh, these two things can make this mod so much infinitely cooler and medieval um, when combined with the siege engines. Now what else do I have to show you? we got some really cool stuff left. I'm going to go ahead and show you the hand cannon and the hand rocket launcher. The hand cannon uses... Hand Cannon Shot is its own type of ammo. Again, crafting recipes for all of these things. It's better if you just look on the wiki uh, because there's so many different items that you have to craft from, you know, all of these. You have to craft all of these. So it would just be easier to go to their wiki, which you can get to from their form thread, which I have linked in the description if you want to try this mod out for yourself. Let's try our little hand cannon. Oh, okay, so I overshot the sheep just a little bit, but you can already see um, how this is working. Let's go ahead and get the ammo down here so we can kind of see it in action. Shoot that sheep. They do not do too much damage, so it's not going to be super powerful, but they will die in two shots. 
So it's not going to be just an insta-kill like some other gun mods are with just the one shot. Uh, but it's just going to be kind of a ranged weapon that you can use. I don't I don't know what kind of range it has. It's It seems to be a little bit, maybe about the same as an arrow. But we've also got the hand rocket launcher here, which is my personal favorite because it uses the same animation as the Huacha. There goes the missile. And it only, it still apparently takes two hits or so. And they do have cooldowns, so you can't just spam these over and over again. So I'm right clicking, nothing's happening until the cooldown is over. And then it allows me to shoot once again. Alright, so the way that it works with the Watchtower and the Small Fortress is you have to have a cleared out land to begin building. So I think that I've cleared this enough for a Watchtower. And you can see it actually build before your eyes, which is just insanely cool. It's currently building at 4 blocks per second. This is going to be toned down in the future. Keep in mind, you can build this in Survival Multiplayer. So you can actually construct these on the battlefield for really quick in, like emplacements. So if you need a watchtower at a forward outpost, you can just kind of watch it build before your eyes, and as I said, it will be slowed down, so it'll be more almost like a real-time strategy game. Think about that. Think about how cool that is for one second. If you've already played any RTS and just, you know, you tell them to build something, and you can just watch them constructing it, this is basically what this is, and I love it so much. So what you can do, uh, once you figure out how to get inside, I've never actually created one of these before. Oh, it's still creating. Okay, so I didn't actually have to create this hole. It's made a little door for me. Oh, it's so beautiful. And <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs. We got trap doors here and a few different floors, I believe. So if you wanna get a better vantage point, you could probably create some windows here and shoot out of those with bow and arrow if you so choose. And we can go to the ceiling here just to kind of find out what this all looks like. Very cool. I love the fact that it generates before your eyes. I love this mod. That is mob. So let's take a look now at the small fortress and watch as it creates itself for us. So now we can see the small fortress being constructed out of thin air, and I mean that quite literally. But if you wanted to, you could really make this like a like a sea-based fortress. You just kind of build up under it so it doesn't look like it's floating. But you can kind of see the problem here with kind of clicking randomly to try to build one of these. The area has to be clear, so you gotta make sure there's no obstructions on the lowest level when you're trying to build these. But you can see it generating itself, <laughs> and it still looks really cool. I don't know how he does this, but that is just really, really fun to watch. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This mod is really great. I encourage you to check it out. I hope you love it as much as I do, and tell Shadow Mage that Italics says hello. I want to thank you guys very much for watching this, and I'm looking forward to bringing you some more Minecraft Mod Spotlights, covering some different mods here over the next few days, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys for watching, my name is Italics, and I will see you next time.